Welcome to Street Solar Life. Uh, now we are going to see the solar panel sizes for the locations of uh, Bilwara. It's in Rajasthan, just far away from the Jaipur city. And uh, even Bilwara is also one of the main city over there. I believe we have seen our last videos for related to solar for the locations wise, even the within state or country or even the other countries as well. Uh, I hope you have got some information about how to design the solar panels uh, for your locations. Uh, if you have uh, any uh, concerns or doubts, uh, probably you can put an email to streetsolarlife at gmail.com. So now we, today, I mean uh, now in this video, we are going to watch the solar panel sizing for the locations. It's uh, it's near to the Inox Mall, I guess. Just a minute, I'm just checking that exactly what will be the locations. Yeah, it's uh, Inox City Center Mall, Bilwara and Rajasthan. So that's the exact location. Uh, now we are going to see the what will be the size of if you have the place or, or residential place or commercial at this particular locations and we have sized the basic loads here we have not considered the higher loads like uh, air conditioner gazer or the motor or any other inductions etc even uh, we have taken the, all the light loads like uh, lights and fa ceiling fans and uh, other kind of electronic kits you know uh, so here uh, you could say is uh, the latitude will be uh, 25.34 and longitude will be 74.63. So we have considered the solar panel for these locations. So we have to be we have to be very sure. I mean, we want you to be sure. This is not the standard sizing that is going to be set for all the state or, or all the district. Even if you are installing the same kind of designs to uh, far from these locations. Uh, you will see the variables in the readings. So when you do the solar panel, you have to consider the shared temperatures, lot of things. So like if you have, you may have the hydraulic building or the tree or some other disturbance so due to the shared happens, you need to consider that also in the calculations, okay? So here we have taken the basic standards and which is required and which is mandatory. So that uh, losses has been considered on this video, okay? Uh, so uh, now what we have considered the load, so you could say is uh, 25 watts load, 4 numbers, 8 hours running per day and 10 watts load, 2 numbers uh, uh, running for 6 hours per day and 100 watts load, uh, 4 numbers, 2 hours running per day, 100 watts load, 1 number, 2 hours running per day, 50 watts uh, load, 1 numbers, 8 hours running per day. So all this load running uh, for 100% uh, of duty cycles. Uh, if any changes in the duty cycle, it will have a impact on the solar sizing too, could be increase or decrease, yeah. Uh, so I want you to be sure when you do the systems or you have installed, already installed the solar panel but you are not sure what how much reading you are getting from the system. So in this case you can put a email to streetsolarlife.gmail.com as well as if you are planning to do the solar panel installations, you have concerns about how many units you are getting, you are not sure. Uh, probably many projects people are also doing that if you have any doubts on these systems like oh, what could be the characteristics based upon this panel characteristics you have to calculate all the weather conditions as well then you can be able to see the uh, readings that's a perfect readings what we are telling now so in this case also if you have any concerns we can help you for your cases uh, so as per these calculations uh, as I said the uh, latitude and longitudes uh, we, we have considered the panel uh, losses and derating factor, aging factors, a um, lot of uh, even the clear sky, cloudy um, conditions, even the rainy, everything. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, um, so here we have uh, clearly saying that uh, uh, this is not the January reading or monthly, I mean the February month of readings. We are giving the uh, readings for the entire year. Even we have uh, collected the historic data for last 10 or 5 years, even the 20 years, and then we are calculating the sizing of the solar panels. Uh, so based upon the solar radiations, uh, you will uh, get a, your PV systems will generate the units. So according to these calculations, uh, you, of course you know more uh, about uh, solar panel, how it works. We don't want to explain what is solar panel, now. that's what we are saying that. Uh, so we want you to understand. So according to these calculations, uh, we need to generate uh, 2,886 units per year. I I think if you calculate something around 200 units or 200, uh, 220 or 40 per month, the average if you could say that monthly, uh, you need to generate, right? 
So in this case, uh, for this location, the solar panels required. So you had to go with that uh, 2,900 WP polycrystal panels uh, to achieve these uh, uh, units. Uh, when you design the, uh, if you want to store the energy to the backup system, that's the battery. Uh, you have to see the battery characteristics and technical specification too. Uh, uh, you have to see the losses and the uh, aging factors and uh, uh, temperature ratings. Everything you have to do that whether where you want to put uh, whether it's uh, outdoor or indoor. So a lot many criteria you have to see that, and uh, you have to calculate the autonomy is too. You want to make it off day or one day or two or three. So if you are increasing the number of days of autonomy, you have to increase the number of batteries by putting the series and panel. So according to these calculations, so we always to go with the uh, total number of uh, batteries as well as you have to see the DODs uh, which is very important for the batteries uh, and uh, you have to see that uh, uh, charge and discharge level of uh, the systems which you are generating from the solar panel and it's just discharging uh, to the load so that you have to calculate okay so the, here the calculations, calculations more important uh, rather than something else uh, so here uh, we want you to understand how the systems works this is how um, more uh, uh, solar um, projects, I mean the professions, people works uh, in the solar panel worldwide. Even our team of experts had many years experience in the global projects for the solar uh, for many years. So that's what we are sharing a lot of information about the solar panel, how it's supposed to be sized. We want to, you to be sure the solar panel sizing is based upon the longitude and latitudes and a lot of weather conditions and technical characteristics of the panels, what you are going to get at installed. Okay, it's not just matter of kilowatt what you're getting and KVS, blah blah. Yeah, I hope uh, this will uh, help you a lot. Uh, uh, if you have any concerns, even the people who are working the systems, if you have more doubts on the solar panels, probably you can contact streetsolarlife at gmail.com. And thank you for watching this video. Please share this video to your friends. Thank you. Bye.